Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to send text messages from a Python app. So this will actually be a two-part video series. In the first part, this one, I'll show you how to send the text message from a command line app. And in the next video, I'll integrate this all into a Flask app. But in this video, I'll just keep it really basic just to demonstrate the text message functionality. So to do this, I signed up with a service called Nexmo. Nexmo is free to use initially. You get a, a balance of two euros to start and sending a text message is really, really cheap. It's, I think it's like less than a cent, maybe a, a couple of cents. Whatever it is, it's pretty cheap and you should be able to send uh, plenty of text messages to test out your app. Uh, in addition to signing up with Nexmo, I signed up with TextNow just so you can see the text messages come in because I don't have a camera to show you my phone. So I just signed up for a service that allows you to receive text messages online. So with Nexmo and TextNow, they're both free so you can easily try this. I'm going to start writing the app. So the very first thing you need is the Nexmo library, which allows you to connect to Nexmo and actually send messages. So it would be pip install Nexmo, just like that. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. And then writing the code is actually pretty simple. So the first thing you need to do is import Nexmo, the library that you just installed. And then what you want to do is you need to connect to Nexmo using your API key and API secret. So to do this, by convention, you call this the client and you're calling nextmo.client, capital C, and then you're going to pass in a key and you're going to pass in a secret. So I'll save this and I'll go to my dashboard and I'll go to, uh, let's see, what is it called over here? I believe it's settings. And with the settings, I can see my API key and API secret. So I'll copy those over and I'll just put them here. In the next video, I think I'll put these in configuration values in Flask, but for now, I can just leave them in the call itself. So now the next thing I wanna do is, after I've connected to Nextmail, I want to get a phone number that I wanna to send to, and I want to get the message that I want to send. So this will be user input. So I'm using Python 2, 2.7, I believe. So I need to use raw input. If you're using a Python 3 variation, then you can just use input instead of raw input. So I'll say, enter the phone number. And then once I have the phone number, I'll say, enter the message. So enter the message. Okay, so now I have the phone number and the message that I want to send. So now I need to actually use the Nextmo client and send this message. Uh, so I can call this the response because as soon as this gets called, it sends a request. So the result is the response. So I'm calling the client and I'm calling the send message method. And I need a from, I need a to, and I need the actual text. So to fill these in, I'm going to replace, or not replace, but add to the number that I received from the user. And then the message will go uh, under text. And then from is the number that I have set up in Nextmo. So uh, it should be somewhere on the account page, I believe. I'm just looking for my number, test numbers. No, that's the phone number that I signed up with. Oh, I see. It's the numbers tab up here, I believe. Okay, so here's the number that I'm going to use to send a message from. So I'll put that here. And now all I have to do is read the response. So the response is going to send back a message. It's going to be a list of things. I want the very first item. And really all I want to do is either print uh, whatever the status is, if it's successful, or the error if it's unsuccessful. So I'm going to do a simple if statement here. If the status in the response is zero, that means it succeeded. So I'm going to print 
um, the response. So response and then message ID. And let's say uh, sent message and I'll add a space here. Okay. And if it errors out, I'll simply print out the error message response and then air text I believe so I'll save that all right so now I'll actually start the app and send a text message so while recording this video for the first time I realized that it won't allow me to send messages directly to my text now account even though I did it last week when I was testing this so what I'll do is I'll send it to my real phone number then I'll forward that message to the text now account so you can see it so I'm going to start Python send text and I'll enter the number that I want to send to, which is my actual number. And then I'll enter the message. So I'll say hello from, from pretty printed. I'll send it. It says uh, send message and then the message ID. So now I see I have a text on my phone. So what I'll do is I'll forward this to my text now account. So let me see what the number is. 213-973. Okay, so I'll send it and let's see where it will pop up. Let's see, text and call online. Okay, so here we go. The message I just forwarded. So this is what it looks like when it's sent from Nexmo. The only difference is I sent it from my phone to here. So I'll send another message. Here's another message. I'll send that. I'll wait for it to show up on my phone. Just got it. So now I'll forward this message. And it doesn't save the number, so I have to type it in again. 10, okay. So sending, and there's the other message. So as you can see, it works. Uh, with Nextmo, as soon as you sign up for a paid account, uh, even if it's the cheapest one, you should be able to send to more numbers. But uh, I can't send some more numbers anymore, even though I was able to do it like three days ago. So that's the first part of this video, uh, sending text messages with Nexmo. And if you're wondering what you can use uh, text message functionality for, uh, one thing you can do is you can have your logs being monitored. And if something goes wrong, uh, a text can be sent to you immediately. Um, it depends on the person. Some people are more available through email, some through text message. So whatever is faster for you, if text messages will get your attention much faster than email, I think sending text messages to you would be uh, a nice functionality to have in any app that has logs being monitored. Um, it can also be used to send reminders to people who sign up for your app. But when you get into the cases like that, it depends on specifically what your app is about. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about sending text messages through Python using Nexmo, just leave a message down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.